If you have a YouTube channel and you want to grow your channel, then this video is for you. Hiya, Adam Payne here with the Video Marketing Insider. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through what I believe to be the best YouTube research and analytics tool out there today. And it's such a great way for you to do your keyword research, to look at your videos and see which ones have been doing well and doing poorly. And it allows you to make educated decisions moving forward so that you know where you need to improve and the kinds of videos that you need to make and also how you can optimize these videos as well. Now, in the past, I used to advocate tools such as TubeBuddy and vidIQ. And vidIQ is still great, but I've kind of gone off TubeBuddy, to be perfectly honest. I found that a lot of their data didn't make sense, and it really, really slowed down my computer. And I'd make decisions completely against what TubeBuddy recommended, and I'd do really well and vice versa. But this other tool that I'm going to show you right now is head and shoulders above that. So let's go and have a look inside. Here we are over at Morning Fame. This is their homepage. It's a very simple, slick looking website. And the great thing about Morning Fame, apart from all of its amazing features and functionalities, is you can actually use it for free for one month to see if you like it. And then if you do, you can continue with a very, very reasonable paid subscription. So if I scroll down their homepage, you can see in here it's invitation only, and you're going to need an invite code in order to get your first month for free and to join. So open up the description, and I've got an invite code for you there. You can copy that, paste it in here, and you can get going. Once you've logged in and you've got all your credentials, you can connect your YouTube channel and everything happens inside of Morning Fame, which is different from a lot of these other tools where you actually go to YouTube and you see the data inside of the YouTube dashboard. So I'm going to open up Morning Fame's analytics and just show you one of their features first of all. And this is really, really good. So it actually pulls in the data of all of the videos that you've published. I think it has the most recent 60 videos. And it tells you where your videos are doing well and doing poorly. So I've got three videos that I'll show you here. And we can see this top video was by far my worst performing video of the three. It didn't get a very good view duration. I only got one subscriber from it. I didn't get many comments. It didn't really do that much. Now, in my opinion, the video was fine. But it's a great thing to see that despite the fact that I or you might think that the video is good and of value, other people aka your viewers or potential subscribers don't see it that way. This one here, make more affiliate sales. It's obviously about making money, whereas this one is actually reviewing an app. Um, this got a few more views. Um, it you know impacted my channel growth a little bit better. And then this one, article writing on steroids, you know, seemed to do really, really well. It got me, you know, 28 subscribers, 70 likes, 33 comments. Um, got watched 1,209 times. So whereas personally, did I think this video was any better than the other videos? No, but pe other people thought differently. And it's other people's opinion, which is more important in this particular case, because they're the ones that are making the decision to view, to comment, to subscribe and all that stuff. So have a look through your past performance and see if you can see the videos that have done well and that have done poorly and find any common ground. It could be a video length, it could be a video topic, you know, it could be a bunch of different things. And I know from going through my past videos, I've got some videos that I think are really, really valuable and educate people on certain things, but they may be boring to people, whereas making money online and doing this and, you know, getting free traffic, that stuff is what a lot of my viewers seem to want. So you can then create more videos about that. Now, a great thing I like about Morning Fame, this is the analytics section. They've got a research section. And they base their research on the size of your channel. So there are certain keywords, for example, that you may think are good to make a video about, but either they don't get enough search volume or there's too much competition considering the size of your channel. And I think everybody makes this mistake. I know I do. I think of a keyword that would be great. I know that people are looking for it, but I don't take into consideration sometimes whether my personal channel is the right size for that particular keyword. And that's why a lot of these bigger channels can seemingly easily rank for certain hard keywords. And it's because they have, you know, a lot more power behind the scenes. They've already got a bunch of subscribers that can then be notified when the video is published and get a ton of traffic quickly. So this is basically 
This, what I'm going to show you now, is how you can kickstart the ranking process. It's not going to mean your video is going to stay ranking, but it's to kickstart the ranking process. So I have a PLR membership site called Video Content PLR, and I know that the content that is inside of that is high quality. But of course, there are lots of people that don't know that my membership exists. So I'm just going to type in here, best PLR. And we've got all of these different things that populate here. This is autocomplete. So we can look down here and we can see, well, what would be a good idea for this particular video? So my particular PLR, it's not a software, so I wouldn't have that. We're coming to the end of 2021. To be, so again, in a month or two's time, this video could be outdated. So I could have best PLR websites and I could click on that. And we'll let it load up. And I just like the way these little extra things that this this uh, website does. Morning Fame's great for this. So it gives me this at, um, at a glance. So 18. Now, they say anything above 11 is what you should go for. If it's uh, got a cross, it means that a lot of people are not looking for this keyword. And if I click on this, what can we see here? Aim for 11 or higher. Well, 18 is higher. It's a common search term. And I'm getting different kind of grade, grade uh, grades based on this keyword and my channel. So let's click on this, choose for step three, and then we'll see. So let's bring this down. So this could potentially be a good keyword um, for subscribers. Now it has my channel. It has the average number of subscribers for people making videos on this keyword. And then it has what they call a gateway video, a kind of gauge video. So competition wise, I'm okay. Uh, views, again, am I going to get a bunch of views from this video? I don't know. It may not get enough interest or enough traffic. Um, this is my, my engagement as a general rule of thumb compared to other people's engagement. So I'm above the um, gateway video, but I'm below the, uh, the average. Relevance we can then, of course, work on when we start to optimize. So if we come down here, we look at these videos that are currently ranking for the keyword best PLR websites. 1,000 or 1,200 views, let's say, five months ago, 10,000 views a year ago. So we're not getting a t it's not getting a ton of traffic. But again, anybody that's looking for this information is obviously looking for PLR staff. So they are kind of warm traffic that we know that they're interested in PLR topic. So let's click on choose for step four. And now this is where we can optimize our video before we actually go ahead and make it so we can make sure that we've got a nice title and we've got a description that is fairly optimized. And the great thing about optimizing videos these days is you don't have to have a lot of information to get a good score. So we can see here we've got a score of D. So best PLR websites is my keyword, but whereas I need that in my title somewhere, it's not the best or the most exciting or the most intriguing thing. So best PLI websites as a keyword is for the machine, but I need to think of something that is going to attract real people. So I could say top three sites revealed. And you can see now that automatically brings my score down, E. So top three PLR sites revealed. And then we need to put something in our description. Um, what are the best... And now we've gone back up again. PLR websites of around or online. In this video, I will share my personal top three PLR websites. And I will include my own as it is awesome, if I do say so myself. So we can get this up here to 88%. So we can see that we're way above the average. We're way above the gateway video. We're not trying to get 100%. And I always think personally, any of these tools, you know, if you're focused on getting a perfect score with whatever tool you use, you kind of become a slave to that tool. And you end up trying to force things in as opposed to, you know, serving your audience. But we've got a good score. And of course, when we actually go to upload this video to YouTube, we will have some default settings, which will also populate our description. We can add some links if we want, and we can add hashtags and all of that stuff. Now, the great thing is, well, I say it's great, something important to know that these days, 
tags are irrelevant. So you do not need to add tags to your video from an SEO point of view. It's gonna have zero effect on your ranking. I still do it kind of out of habit uh, and because it's there inside of YouTube, but it's been proven that tags don't work or they're unnecessary anymore when it comes to um, SEO. And that's why this is kind of off by default. But of course, we can still add our tags if we want. And this is a great way for me to do my research and to see what I need to do before I make a video. Because if I'd have thought of something and then thought that would be great, I'll go and make a video on that, it could be a keyword that didn't get any search volume. So what would be the point? It might be one that got a ton of search volume, but the channels that are ranking for that are authority channels in comparison to yours or mine. So we would kind of be, you know, it'd be mission impossible before we'd started. So again, doing your research first using a fantastic tool like Morning Fame that not only gives you all of the important information, but it does so in a presentable manner with easy to read data it really does help you, it saves you time, and it you know makes sure that all of the stuff that you're doing when it comes to creating videos and optimizing them, you know that you've got a chance for success. So once you follow this and you implement this, this is gonna give your video a chance of ranking. It's not gonna say that your video is gonna be ranking automatically or it's gonna be in the top two or three, but it is gonna kickstart the ranking process because your video will be optimized so that the search engines know what your video is about and then they can potentially show it in the rankings. What is gonna keep your video ranking is other factors. You're gonna need a really nice thumbnail. Why will you need a nice thumbnail? Because that is gonna encourage people to click on your video and click through rate is super, super important. And of course, your video needs to be decent. And I don't mean a Hollywood production, but it needs to deliver on its purpose. If you're gonna make a video which is about the best PLR websites, top three PLR sites revealed, you wanna make sure that you do reveal the top three PLR websites in your opinion, and that you do so in an educational and or entertaining manner, because otherwise people are gonna leave your video and then that's gonna hurt your watch time, your retention time, and all of that stuff is going to really mean your video is gonna tank as opposed to rank long-term. So again, check out the invite code below, go and grab Morning Fame, highly recommended, and I'm sure that once you've tried it out for free for a month, you're gonna stick around and like me, become somebody that pays a very minimal amount every single month and uses it all the time. Any questions, let me know. Thank you for watching. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification, and I'll see you soon. Cheers. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions or you need more clarification, go and watch the video once more. Over on the right-hand side, we have some more trainings and reviews, so go and watch those as well. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already, and hit the bell notification. Other than that, ask any questions you've got below, and I'll see you soon.